How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator Survival Series. So we picked up this job in the last episode and we're just about to start our journey. It is 18 tons of solvents and we are going from Gallup uh, down to basically the outskirts of Albuquerque. So yeah, this is going to be a good one. It's not a, a big journey. It's 187 miles, but it does pay well. So that's basically the only reason I grabbed it. Uh, it's paying just over $4 a mile, uh, which is pretty damn good compared to some of the jobs that we've done lately. Uh, so we'll get a grand total of $1,091 for this job. So it's not a huge amount. By the time we de uh, basically deduct our fuel and maintenance on the vehicle, we'll probably end up with about, I don't know, $600, $700 uh, in profit. But as long as we're not losing money, I'm happy to take the job. Because there's definitely some jobs out there where we could be losing money. So, right yep, yeah, this is still a win. In my books, I mean, you can't be making huge amounts of profit on every job. This is quite busy, actually. There we go. Um, yeah, so... This job is really just there, there wasn't any like great jobs um over in Gallup or Gallup. I'm I'm just gonna go with Gallup because uh, Gallup sounds is really weird. So I'm just gonna go with Gallup, and um, we checked Gallup and Holbrook, and there wasn't any great jobs. So this load is basically just to get us into Albuquerque where hopefully we can find a better job that is kind of the idea that traffic light was about two seconds too late all the momentum gone uh, yeah, so this is literally just to get us into Albuquerque. I didn't want to do a empty run into Albuquerque because that's just costing us money. So I'd rather make like 500 bucks and, you know, get into Albuquerque with a little bit of money in the pocket rather than just a dry run or an empty run. So it's literally just, yeah, pay for the fuel. And hopefully we can get a good job out of Albuquerque. That is the plan though. I mean, I don't know what jobs are going to be available in Albuquerque. Albuquerque, I'm just... Yeah, going on a hunch. It's a decent sized city and normally they have pretty good jobs. So that's all I'm going by. We'll see what's there when we get there. I don't think there's much in the way of un unlockables on this road. And I'm pretty sure anything that we could unlock we already have. So we're just gonna shoot straight through. We can head up to 75 miles an hour. Which is fantastic. It means we'll get there pretty damn soon. Because at the moment it is 20 to 1 in the afternoon and um, we're estimated to arrive by three o'clock quarter past three this is definitely not going to take a long only 150 miles to go we should be good it's gonna be a fun one i really do like these long trailers and i'm really bummed that you can't buy them i would love to buy tanker trailers i know you can get the tanker the food tankers and the i think it's grain tankers and um, but that's not what i'm looking for i want 
like solvent tankers and diesel and oil and those kind of stuff that's the tankers i want and i want triples i mean it would be fantastic if we could buy triple tanker trailers and haul diesel and oil and things like that that would be so freaking cool that's probably what i will do i would take out a loan and buy triples and i would just run that that's all i would do because the money would be pretty damn good and it'll be triple tankers i mean come on who doesn't want triple tankers that would be so freaking cool i don't know why you you can't do that it's just i don't know it baffles me if they've got tankers where you can take juice and milk in why do they not have tankers in the game where you can take fuel in makes no sense although i also think the i don't know if you can get triples on the like food tankers i i think you can i think you can get them so i i really don't know why that's not in the game hopefully we'll see it in the game soon but um at at this stage time of recording unfortunately not an option But yeah, there's, there's a, a few things in the game that I would really, really want to see, like multiple pickups and multiple drop-offs on a single trip with your own trailers. That'll be epic. And variable loads. I would love variable loads, and that would sort of go hand-in-hand hand with multiple pickups and drop-offs. Because basically, um, if I've got triple flatbeds, then I can drive to, I can take like three different drop uh, jobs and pick these items up, whatever they may be, and they could be different items, uh, pick them up at three different destinations, and um, I've got like a variable load. I could have a digger, I could have some plows, and I could have, I don't know, some hay bales. Um, on the trailers I mean I think it'll become a little bit complicated to have more than one load on a single trailer where even though it might fit I think that'll become a little bit complicated but I don't think it'll be too complicated to be able to have one load per trailer I would be happy with that I don't even care if I can have like a digger and a car or whatever on one trailer even though it'll fit I don't really care if I can do that as long as I can have like one load per trailer and I could have three different pickup points and I can have three different drop-off points and if I head to a drop-off point and one of them's pretty close and I drop off I could pick up another load on my way to the next drop-off and I mean that'll be epic drop down to 65 miles an hour here um, yeah, that'll be so much fun, because then you basically never have to stop. You can just keep going. It would be really, really, really cool. Because then you can just keep on picking up jobs, and your route will just get extended and extended and extended. Um, and yeah, you'll end up doing... Well, end up being on the road for a long, long time without a break in between without having an empty, tra empty trailer effectively that'll be awesome that'll be really really cool you could have an it, uh, steam achievement for that with where it basically calculates how many miles you've driven without having an empty trailer and you could try set a record on that That'll be really cool. If you can do like 10,000 miles without Keep ever it. having an empty trailer. How cool would that be? Right, we're keeping right. All Keep clear. Right. Slow down a little bit. good keep left we're going to the center lane oh 
Alrighty, so I hope we can get a, a good job out of here. It would be nice if we can get a good, solid, solid paying job. I mean, the last one wasn't too bad. It was just about $3,000 and we didn't burn too much diesel. I think only probably about $500 of diesel. So I think we made a good two and a half thousand dollars there. All right, maybe another two hundred dollars in maintenance, but yeah, I think about two and a half, maybe two thousand three hundred dollars in profit. I'm happy with that as long as we're making money. Keep right. All right, drop off here. Yeah. Right. Take the exit right. Left turn ahead. Turn left. All righty. Stay in the left hand lane because we're turning left up ahead. Is that a big aeroplane in the distance there? I think it is. It's a big cargo plane. Keep left, then turn left. That is cool. Turn left. That was a nice quick job. Right turn ahead. Okay. Turn right. So this is solvents and it looks like we're bringing it to right turn ahead. Oh, it's a cargo terminal. Cargo center. Cool. Um I don't know why they would want solvents here, but turn right. I just want to check there's some cool planes there. Oh look at that! <gasps> there's a job pickup there. How cool is that? Oh, that was a bit crunchy. Um, imagine you can drive into the airplane. Have reached your destination. I mean, there's ramps. You possibly could. All right. Ding. I think I'm gonna hit the wall there. There we go. Alrighty. Disconnect. 188 miles, 40 gallons of fuel, 4 hours, $1,000. And we've got an upgrade. We're level 12 now. Fantastic. Um, right, are we just going to continue on with the hazardous cargo and just get that done with? I think we should. 
and then we'll look into some some other things. Let's go explosives. Nice, because they generally pay pretty well. Anyway, the big thing is we're hoping for a good job out of here. Uh, Socorro can't get jobs out of there. Uh, here we go, Salt Lake City. And that's a big job. 55 tons of transformer up to Salt Lake City in Utah. It's kind of, we've done that road a few times now. I want to do something different. Oh, now we're talking. We're going down the right direction. Uh, Artesia? Artesia? I'm not sure. No. No. Reservoir tank? Ooh, that's pretty cool. Up to Utah as well. No. Mobile barrier? $2.94 a mile. $1,000 trip. FedEx, wood shavings, tableware, road roller. That is a big job for not a lot of money, I'll tell you what. Um, I don't know, I, I kind of fancy, which one was it? This one? Fertilizer? I mean, it's only fertilizer. I don't think we've done a standard box trailer yet. Uh, 240 miles and um, $3.17 a mile. Let's go for that one. And we'll discover another three towns on this trip. Right. Wait, what? What, 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 what? Was that like 40 minutes before it expires? Oh my goodness. 40 minutes before it expires. Um, it's at Cargo Center. I think that's where we are. I hope that's where we are. Where's the thingamabob? It is where we are. Okay, we might get it. Get there quick, quick. Oh, that is so lucky. So freaking lucky. That nearly expired. 40 minutes. Oh my goodness. Uh, take job. Ooh, they've got some other cool jobs here. But let's take that one. It's heading the right direction. I want to go that way. Ooh, coal's bad. We might drive into Colesbad. Alrighty. That was pretty lucky to catch that one before it expired. Where's the trailer? I think I see it. And we're not far off hitting 3,000 miles in our truck, which is pretty cool. Do we see this is fertilizer? Why is FedEx transporting a bunch of fertilizer? I don't know, I don't care, I just want to get paid. Beautiful, connected. And uh, let's have a quick look at the map. We're going to go through Socorro, Socorro. Don't know the pronunciation. Roswell. Okay, cool. Uh, we're going to shoot straight through, but maybe we should just collect that. Yeah, let's collect that while we're there. And um, down here, not much. Ooh, obs. Artesia. Interesting. Okay, this is going to be a cool little route. I don't think there's anything to unlock here. It doesn't look like it. No. All right, let's do that. We're going to have the one little detour um, to grab a what do they call them a hiring center but off we go not a very heavy load this one um 16.7 tons i mean it's not light but it's not like 50 tons Anyone coming? No. Turn left. 
And I think this is legitimately the first time that we have hauled a box trailer in this series. I don't think we've done a box trailer. We've only done like... I wouldn't say special loads, but different loads. Keep right, then turn right. Turn right. Nice Coca-Cola truck. It actually fits that truck pretty well, the whole color scheme works well there. I don't know if that's on purpose or not, but it works. Keep left, then turn left. Turn left. Okay. I mean, I was saying earlier this thing isn't too heavy but I, I will tell you you can feel the the weight behind it it's not light you can definitely feel the weight weirdly it actually feels heavier than our previous load even though our previous load was a little bit over a ton heavier than this this is 16.7, the previous one was 18, but this actually feels heavier, don't know why, because I don't think aerodynamics is modeled in the game, so otherwise I would have said it's because this one is a box trailer, it's got more like wind resistance compared to the round solvents trailer. But I don't think that's modeled in the game. So I don't think that's a very good explanation. But it, it really does feel like it, I'll tell you that much. Alright, we're still in, in good speed limits. That's that's kinda why I've been avoiding California. Because the speed limits, I mean 55 is just mind-numbingly slow, especially if you're doing like 600 mile jobs um, and you're doing them at 55 miles an hour it really does suck it's not fun at all so I've kind of been avoiding that area but also I've been trying to stick around this area in New Mexico and um, not just because of nice speed limits I mean if you're going for speed limits I think Nevada is the best they go up to 80 miles an hour I think if I remember correctly 80 miles an hour there we go Socorro discovered um, which is nice, but uh, yeah, so I think if you're going for speed limits, Nevada would be the area to hang around. Um, but down here, I want to I want to unlock these these cities uh, and towns. That really does look like a a proper small town vibe in the desert. Pretty damn cool. Unfortunately, we didn't get to drive right through the town to get a good look but I'm sure we will do at some stage either with a drop off or a pickup or something like that um, but yeah I basically just want to discover all of these little towns and cities down here as uh, areas that we haven't been yet and I'm interested in them nice Volvo bit of an old Volvo by the looks Keep of it right. but then take the nice cars the those now he has to come back fast again because no warning from the sat nav. The exit right. No early warning. This is. I mean, there's a few hills around here, but this is pretty flat country, I'll tell you what. Now, this is 40 miles an hour. Oh good, they put up the speed limit, it's 45 now. There we go, 65. This is real, real flat land. This is pretty damn cool. 
I like this. There's a police car coming up. Hey, Mr. Officer. This is very interesting vegetation. Oh, river, river. That is a very muddy river. Man. Very muddy, actually. It was kind of cool to see because all the other rivers we saw further north was like clear blue. It's cool to see that they actually change them up a little bit. Make them look different. Oh, what is this coming up on the right hand side? That looks like some sort of attraction. What is that? Oh, it's a scrapyard. Never mind. Not an att attraction at all. I saw the little tower thing and I thought it was some sort of point of interest. Um, but it turns out to be a scrapyard. So, not really a point of interest. Although, I kind of enjoy scrapyards, I'll tell you that much. There's just so much stuff that you can use to make other stuff. And I like that. Unfortunately, scrapyards where you can actually go in and just sort of pick parts. Um, at least around where I live, uh, don't exist anymore. I'm sure there's a few of them around in, in South Africa, but very, very, very few. So you can't really do that anymore. I think they they make more money by just selling the cars for scrap. So that's basically what they do now. Like, a few years ago, my sister, she broke her... Um, like visor like the little sun visor on the driver's side she broke that in her she had a small vw polo and she broke the visor and i wanted to get another visor and literally every scrapyard that i phoned i had to buy the entire car to get the visor you can't part pick anymore which really really sucks So, yeah, I mean, why the hell do I want to buy an entire car to get a sun visor? That makes no sense whatsoever. But I think they just make a hell of a lot more money doing it that way because people basically buy these cars and then scrap them themselves and sell it on for parts. But then it's sold on for massively inflated prices and it's hard to sort of get parts because they put it into a shop. But yeah. Just one of those things, I guess. Money talks. Oh, we're gonna stop here for some fuel. Actually, it looks easier to go that side. Um, but we're gonna go this side. Beautiful. And engine off. Let's see how much fuel we're going to take. Probably about $300 worth, I would guess. Ah, 205 Fantastic. That is not too bad at all. And that's a pretty big trailer i'll tell you what what anyway that is going to be it for today guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode we're going to carry this on in the next one and we've got 115 miles to go so in the next episode we'll finish this and probably grab another load and see where it takes us but thanks for watching uh, if you enjoyed this episode make sure to smash that like button and i will see you all next time